The violent world of FX's Sons of Anarchy is populated by many, many bad people. Even in light of all that evil company, no one deserved the ugly end they got as much as Ron Perlman's Clay Morrow. For all the horror Clay dragged Sam Crow through, Perlman's charismatic performance of the former president of the Redwood Original Charter won him quite a few fans, many of whom were sad to see Morrow go. Series creator Kurt Sutter was aware of this tension at the time he made the decision to permanently cut Perlman loose and told Entertainment Weekly, As much as people say they want Clay dead, they don't want Clay dead. They want to see how Gemma feels about betraying Clay. They want to see how Juice feels about betraying. They want to see that play out even though they, in their gut, know they know the guy should be dead. Sons of Anarchy ended in 2014, so you'd be forgiven if time has put a gloss on all of Clay Morrow's transgressions. With all the petty acts of murder and dishonesty that peppered the series, it's interesting to note that Clay's most important crime actually happened off-screen. Sam Crow president Clay Morrow, who spent so many years acting as a surrogate father to series protagonist Jax Teller, played by Charlie Hunnam, actually murdered Jax's real father and shacked up with his mother Gemma before the timeline of the show begins. That one violent act sets Clay and Jax on a collision course that isn't ultimately realized until the show's penultimate season when Jax finally guns down Clay in recompense for his real dad's murder. Given all the great drama that Morrow brought to Sons of Anarchy, it's interesting that Sutter decided Perlman had to go before the final season. As it turns out, that decision had everything to do with the rigorous demands of the story and the Shakespearean inspiration for Sons of Anarchy's tragic plot. Sons of Anarchy is very much the modern adaptation of Hamlet that its creator always intended it to be. Lest you wonder who's supposed to be whom, Sutter tips you off with a little naming convention. Gertrude, Hamlet's duplicitous mother from the play is now Gemma, while Claudius, Hamlet's murderous uncle, translates to Clay. Jax is, of course, the outlaw MC version of Hamlet himself. In an interview around the time of his exit, Perlman shared that his departure wasn't the result of any behind-the-scenes drama. If you're looking for someone to blame, blame Shakespeare. The Hellboy actor told Entertainment Weekly, I'm playing Claudius, and Claudius doesn't make it to Act 5, so I was ready for this. If it's an examination of power, you have to see the new king when he's not mirrored by the resonances of the old king. You have to see what he does when he stands alone in the world. And as long as Clay is around, he can't do that. It, it was, it was a, a, a very strange departure. Clay had to leave Sons of Anarchy for the same narrative considerations that drove Shakespeare to clear off Claudius before the final act of his most famous play, and it had real narrative consequences for Jax Teller. One of the ways Charlie Hunnam prepared for Jax to murder Clay was to ignore his co-star on set for the entire duration of season 6. As Hunnam told Entertainment Weekly, I decided as difficult as it was going to be, I wasn't going to talk with Ron Perlman, not even say good morning to him, and not tell him why I was doing it. I just hoped he would understand, to know that it was just about work and that it wasn't anything personal. Luckily, Perlman and Hunnam exchanged kind words after their final scene together was in the can. But for the sake of Perlman's mental health, it sounds like the exit came just in the nick of time as the actor explained to Entertainment Weekly. I started to have trouble with the stuff I was being asked to do because I couldn't find a way that I can justify it to myself. I had to resign myself to playing this guy in a detached way. Here's hoping that the great Ron Perlman gets to play a few more good guys in the future. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more Looper videos about your favorite TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.